do those photocopies of all my papers while I'm at it. I'll take these papers to the paper bank while I'm at it as well. Ugh. What do you mean, incorrect pin number? Mum's age and my age last year. Or is it two years ago? Ugh. What do you mean, refer to bank? It's in my card. Now what am I going to do? Can you copy this for me? I can't come in because I haven't got the key to my lock. OK. We can't take a cheque without a cheque card. That's OK, I've got... Oh, no, I haven't. You see, my card is my cash point card as well. And the machine... So you're just going to throw my copies away? That's ridiculous. You might as well give them to me. Dolly? Oh, oh don't ask. I got really organised and I haven't achieved anything. Just a stiff neck and a unicycle. You always try to squeeze too much <sighs> in. Oh, it's just that other people get in the way. I mean, this bloke and the photocopying... <gasps> Like, Dolly, <laughs> you're going to have to learn to relax, like me. I mean, I don't get stressed. I just take my time over things. Yeah, but you're fat and you don't achieve anything. I tell you what, on Saturday, I'll organise an agenda of relaxing activities for you. You'll like it. Oh, all right, then. I'll see you later. Oh, I need a coffee and a fact to calm me down. Boobies! I've left my goggles in there. Oh, isn't it my 20p? That's ridiculous. Why if someone forgot their goggles or something? Oh, can you give me 20p, please? <laughs> I'm stressed out already. What are all these kids doing here? It's a nightmare. Well, ignore them. Ignore them? Come on, this is just the first part of your relaxation programme. I've bought you a whole day of stuff. Just do some gentle swimming to start with. <laughs> but it's packed. I want the whole pool to myself. Oh, God. That is trying to overtake me. I'll show her. Pool hog! Oh, did you see that woman? Oh, so competitive. Darling, swimming is for relaxing, not competing. Yeah, try telling that to her. Here she comes. I'll show her this time. <laughs> You shouldn't be swimming in this lane anyway. Oh, it's the slow lane. What stroke was that? Butterfly, thank you. Come on, let's play about here. Swim under my legs. I can't possibly have fun. The only way to relax is by swimming it out. Is that lady drowned? What's happening now? Dolly, I think you should go home, actually, and lie down. No! I've got to relax. What's next on the agenda? Sauna and Turkish bath. I'm boiling. Oh, God, it's boiling in here. I can't stand it. I can't breathe. I've got to have some air. Oh, wait, close, close the, the door. door. All right, all right. Oh, it's a bit stuffy, that's all. Oh, no, why is it so hot? I'm sweating buckets. I've got to get out. It's all steamy. There's something wrong with a ventilator. Oh, God. I'm getting water on the lung. It's boiling. Oh, I'm so hot. Just relax. It's good for you. I've got heat stroke or something. Oh, God, phew. I'm so hot. I can't see. Where are you? Come on, you've got to get in here now. It's freezing. I'm not getting in there. Come on, get a bit of you in. Oh, oh, ah! Mm. Now we lie here and relax. Mm. I feel like death. Freedom magazine. I'm bored. Belle? Belle? Oh, great. Actually, it's great. Time for a quick... Dolly Pod, if you'd, if you'd like, like to come through, through cubicle nine. nine. So, what do you do, Dolly? Uh, well, oh, I... I've only just qualified, actually. <sighs> I used to be a travel agent. Do you like travelling? I uh... don't. When I get a break, I just stay at home and make curtains or do some decorating or something. I don't like flying. Oh, can you do that a bit harder? I'm sorry? Oh, harder. Oh, uh, 
I don't mean that section or anything. Oh, well, no, I can't, because my nails. So, anyway, I thought, what can I do? I like working with people. So my friend Joyce, she said, what about massage? She's a chiropodist. We fell out, actually. But at the time, we were friends, till I lent her my knitting machine. Are you just doing that one rib, or do I get all the ribs done? Now, hang on a minute. Anyway, Joyce, this is pre the knitting machine fiasco. Haven't you got some ambient music or something? I'll just finish this story. It's worth it. You'll see. I don't want to hear it. It's boring. It's very rude. So just cut the and do the massage, will you? I'm not doing it. Just do it. Your friend can have her money back. I'm not doing it. Do it, will you, you old bag? This is my cubicle, cubicle nine, and I want you out. (sighs) Surely it's up to me whether I want to listen to your drivel or not. Most of my clients like my sunny, chatty disposition. Oh, shut up! You shut up! No! Get out! Now! I'm all covered in oil. Well, one rib is. What's going on? Oh, just a minor disagreement. I quite enjoyed it, actually. Yeah, years of pent-up anger directed at a worthy target, all in one go. Very relaxing. What's next? Uh, we've got a meditation class this afternoon and then yoga tonight. So go home and have a healthy lunch. <sighs> Come on! Hurry up! Have you got your white cloth, piece of fruit and flowers? What do you mean? I told you, gifts for the teacher. Part of the ritual. Oh, God, I forgot. Could have done that this morning while you were going mad waiting for me. It's all that coffee and fags. It hypes you up. False energy. You should drink herbal tea. What, the old apathy juice? No way. I'd never leave the house. Oh, God, it's five past already. What am I going to do? Oh, God. It's all right. Here's my hanky and my tangerine. You give these back to me with the flowers. Now I'm going to tell you your mantra. It's your own secret. You mustn't tell it to anyone else. It is... I'm worried about getting too relaxed. It's my wizziness which gets things done. TM will help you get more done. My problem is I think all the time. The same old thoughts over and over, round and round. Nothing useful or interesting. Yeah, I do that. I can't sit still. I'm always on the move, fidgeting and pacing. Yeah, me too. Right. Now we're going to do some meditation. Another thing I get is... Shh, now I want you to sit still and breathe gently, close your eyes and repeat your mantra. I get this thing Try not to say it in time with your breathing. Try to feel it instead. Shh. But I haven't finished what I was saying. Shema, shema. Oh, God, the bin. I didn't put the bin out. Shema, shema. What I need to do is give up working at Mrs. Allwright's, move away from Nobby, or move away from the whole area. Shema, shema. I need to start afresh, put the past behind me. Shema, shema. Oh, God. Oh, no. Well, I need a new mantra now. Right, so 20 minutes, morning and night, on a hardback chair. Time to relax, empty your mind of thoughts, rejuvenate. Yeah, I like the talking bit at the beginning best. I don't actually mind being a neurotic if I can talk about it to other neurotics. Shema, shema. If I hadn't bottled out of going away to college, I might have a career. Shema, shema. I could have gone away to college, written to Frank while I was there, been married and have a career by now. Shema, shema. I shouldn't have given up that flat at number five. I would have been more independent and not been living underneath knobby features. Oh, I've broken. Nobby, you're interrupting my meditation. What are you doing that for? Because it makes me calmer and empties my mind of worries and concerns. That's why. Ooh, well, don't mind me. Shh. Shema, shema. God, I've only been doing it for three minutes, 17 more to go. You can make loads of money saying art. I found all this in the bins outside the art school. All originals. All broken. Look, this one's in one piece. Shema, shema. Oh, my God, I'm late for yoga. Out of the way, Nobby, for God's sake. Okay, so that's five, four, three, two, one, and out. Okay, so let all the tension out and concentrate on the idea of making each day beautiful so that all our yesterdays are joyful memories and all our tomorrows are full of hope. (laughs) Five, four, three, two, one. It's okay, Dolly, that's quite a natural reaction to an unfamiliar pattern of deep breathing. It's the oxygen, you see. It'll pass in a minute. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it's just that, um... (laughs) Don't worry, Dilly. Crying is a natural release of tension. Right, well, we've only got a few more minutes left, so if we can just all lie down, block out all sounds and feel rainbow colours flowing through our bodies as we breathe up to the tops of our heads, down through the trunk, the legs to the feet, and let it flow out of the toes. You're so selfish, Dolly. 
We spoil it for everyone else. I had a lot of tension to release. What about everyone else's tension? I like the laughing. Even the crying was quite good. Oh, just go back to your old ways. You're too old to change. And that meditation is good for plotting and planning. Yeah, well, you're not coming anymore. I don't need to come anymore. Actually, I think I'd make a good teacher. I bet they rake it in. Edol, Edol. Edol must find Dolly's fishing rod. Edol, Edol. Edol. Edol, can I go to the loo now? I'm busted. No! Fifteen more minutes of chanting. Dolly, can I get up? My veins. Now, shush. Remember what I said. Chanting in between worrying. It really works.